10 tips for your macro photography. Hi, I'm Mick Sadler, and this is 10 tips for your macro photography. Tip number one, get a macro lens. Well, if you can't get a macro lens, if this is too expensive for you, then get one that focuses a much shorter distance. And also, get some of these. These are extension tubes, and they're a must. I use a macro lens, but I still use a 21 millimeter extension tube to get closer to the subject. Tip number two, use a small aperture. If you use a small aperture, f11, f16, f22, this gives you greater depth of field. When you're taking macro shots, your depth of field is compromised and is shorter than if you're taking a normal shot. So go for a small aperture if you can. Tip number three, get a small exposure. And uh, you really need to be shooting a, a 125th or a 250th if you can, especially if there's insects involved. Tip number four, go for a, a low ISO. And that I mean is you wanna choose your ISO, either 400 ISO or 800 ISO. Most modern cameras these days will cope with uh, that sort of ISO and won't give you too much noise. Tip number five, you need to add some light if you can. And there's several ways of doing this. One, you can add a very low cost, an LED ring light to the front of your camera, uh, like this one. You can also add uh, electronic flash ring light um, or mini flash lights, but they can be very expensive. The other alternative is to use a reflector and just to reflect some light into the scene. Tip number six, use a monopod um, or a tripod. I find a monopod is easier. You can sit the camera on the monopod and you can move it about to get your focus. And it, it relieves the weight of the camera. Tip number seven, always manually focus your lens. I use a macro lens and focus to the closest possible I can um, and then move it backwards and forwards using like a monopod and as you come into focus you take your shots. Tip number eight, frame your shot carefully. Um, there's no worse thing in, in not worrying about what's in the background what's at the side um, and you need to frame up what you're taking very carefully um, if it involves insects again you should you need to uh, be patient but you need to uh, frame your subject correctly tip number nine make sure it's not too windy huh. that's easier to say um, you can work indoors doing macro and there's no wind at all but outside, if it's very windy, then you've got no chance. Tip number 10, take lots of pictures. Take lots and lots and lots of pictures because you'll find the keepers are gonna be fairly small. And on the back of the screen on the camera, you may not quite get it to be pin sharp. So take lots of pictures, um, make sure they're sharp, um, and you can uh, delete all the ones you don't want at a later stage. Now we're going to look a bit more in depth at uh, taking macro shots, putting some of these tips into practice. And if you're on a fixed focus and you're on a monopod, you can move the monopod in and out just to get the focus. And at the correct moment, you need to press the shutter. Um, you also uh, we can see that this has got a ring light and uh, that does add you know half a stop um, 
to uh, reduce the exposure somewhat. Also I use um, a 21 millimeter extension tube. My macro lens is a 100 millimeter Canon one and uh, there are other models, different types, different um, focal lengths. So um, you, you're always best to uh, use what you've got or hire it or borrow it and uh, do some tests. Important to be patient and to be as comfortable as you can. Um, if you can be sort of comfortable then you can be there for a while and get the shot you want. But be aware of the background. Um, check your uh, back of your camera to see what effect you're getting and whether there's anything that's not very nice coming into the background. Um, so if you shoot some flowers, you may get um, a streak in the background, a light streak, which you don't really want. Um, if you're using uh, flash, and you can use flash and you tend to get a dark background with this because you're lighting the subject but you're not lighting the surrounding area. Well that's the 10 tips for today. Um, enjoy your macro photography and see you again soon. Thanks for watching.